All right, today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to restore lost performance on your older vehicle. Right, you may have noticed that your older vehicle is starting to feel a little sluggish. Maybe when you mash the throttle down when you're trying to take off at wide open throttle, it just doesn't seem like it's giving you everything it's got. And there's a very common reason for this. In this video, I'll be showing you one thing to look for that might be your problem. All right, whether you have a Ford, a Honda, Chevy, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you have a cable actuated throttle body, which means there is a, it looks like a bicycle brake cable that runs from the pedal in the car out usually to your throttle body, wherever it's located on your engine, there's a chance that over time that cable will actually stretch. And when it stretches, it means it, it won't pull as tight when you mash the throttle. In other words, you won't actually be hitting full throttle when you floor it. You'll only be getting part throttle, which means the car won't be going or accelerating as fast as it normally would. So I'm going to be showing you how to adjust this on my 2005 CRV. It kind of has a hybrid system. Normally what would happen is you would step on the throttle cable inside, and like I said, it runs out to your throttle body, and it just rotates the throttle body open and closed. On my system, it's kind of a hybrid setup. The throttle cable runs out here to the firewall because in 2005 they switched to a uh, electronic throttle body. So the cable doesn't actually run to the throttle body itself. It runs to this uh, control, like this, basically a receiver here, that it still turns a manual switch, which this sensor here interprets to tell the car how far to open the throttle body. But it's also susceptible to the same problem because if this cable stretches, that sensor won't be sensing that you're mashing the throttle all over to the floor. And how I noticed that I was having a problem is the car just didn't feel as powerful as it should. And when I'd really push really, really hard on the pedal, it felt like it was working good, but I was having to push way too hard on the pedal. All right, so if you go in your car and you look at your gas pedal and you follow it up here, you'll see that right here is where it comes through the firewall. So if you push the pedal, you can actually see the cable being pulled. How you can do this with two people is have one person stand outside, you can take your air intake tube off, or you don't even have to do that. You can just rotate the butterfly valve yourself. Have another person in the car push the throttle all the way down, and then try to rotate the butterfly valve further. If it goes further open, then you know that, that you're not reaching full throttle when you press the, the pedal down. If the throttle body is all the way open, as far as it will go, with your foot all the way down on the pedal, then this will not help you. The simplest way to do this, some cables have built-in adjustments, but I'm just going to show you a really easy, we'll call it a hack, to do this. Take your pedal and pull it back towards you. And when you do that, you'll see that the end of the cable will actually pop out a little bit. See that space? What you want to do is you want to take a zip tie, put it around the cable between the space, and what you're actually doing is making a washer. What that washer will do by lifting up the pedal further, it's taking up the slack in the cable when you put that zip tie around the cable. So when you push the gas pedal, it's pulling just a little bit more on the cable, which will get us to full throttle. All right, it makes it a little easier if you can loop it beforehand. So I'm gonna stick it. This is a little rubber isolator here. So I'm going to stick it in between that and the cable and just tighten it down like that. And you just want to make sure that you don't actually have the throttle engaged any. So start with a very small zip tie and only if you have slack. Because if you engage the throttle a little bit, your idle won't be correct. Cut off our excess. Now, 
you can see, you can pull the pedal all the way forward and there's no slack. And then you can test it by going out under the hood, pushing down the throttle and make sure your throttle blade is opening all the way. Or in my case, if your vehicle's like this, we'll just take it for a test drive and see if it made a difference. All right, so once you get your car out, see if it made any difference by hitting the throttle. Made a big difference for my 2005 CRV. Maybe it'll help you out. All right, if the video helped you out, please give me a like. If you have a question, leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.